What up everybody, it's iPad Beatmaking here today and I want to show you a really cool feature that I think sets Logic Pro for iPad apart from every other iOS DAW that there is and this has got something to do with the MIDI capture feature which if you don't know is kind of like retrospective recording it's always listening to the MIDI that you're playing in the background and it can record it in at any time and usually what I would do is I would have it on cycle and um, have the metronome on and just experiment a little bit. Right? And then I would hit the capture MIDI button and it would have all my takes consolidated into one take and it would just look crazy. And so it was sort of useless in that situation. But what I've discovered is that we can go into settings app settings and then we go recording we go to overlapping midi regions and where it says cycle on instead of merge we hit create take folder and cycle off you can have it still merge if you want but i'm gonna go ahead and create take folder so that my takes are always protected in a way and we'll go ahead and delete this and now as we go ahead and play back with the cycle on and play some stuff in I think I like that last one. So as you can see right here, we've got what kind of looks like a bunch of things stacked on top of each other. The symbol right here, and it says seven of seven. So that means that we're on the seventh take of seven that are available in this take folder. And when you see this kind of stacked up symbol where it looks like papers are stacked on top of each other, these are all your takes. And the way that you access your other takes is you just tap on the MIDI region and you go to takes and folders and you can see all of your takes right here. And what's really cool about it is you can unpack them if you want. And that's what I like to do sometimes is unpack them. And now you've got access to all your takes right here. And from there, you can go ahead and say, you know what, I don't want, you know, certain one of these at all. And for other takes, you might realize that you did really good at the beginning, but maybe not the end and vice versa and you can go ahead and you know bring it up to that other take merge whatever it is you want to do this is a really clutch method i think for keeping track of all of your takes and getting those happy accidents so yeah that is one feature that i think really sets logic pro for ipad apart from every other ios DAW. let me know what you think of that feature down in the comment section with all that said sci beat making peace